This activist is the latest environmentalist facing legal trouble in Vietnam. Hong Thi Minh Hong was jailed in September and later found guilty of tax evasion. She's the fifth environmental activist jailed in a government crackdown that started in 2021. I'm not surprised that this happened, but I do feel it's injustice. I do feel that Hung doesn't deserve any day in jail. Nothing went into her pocket. It's all she did it for the environment, for the wildlife, for a better place. And now she got severely punished by that, by doing that. Activists in Vietnam say the politically motivated crackdown is part of a campaign to silence them. The first to be targeted was Dang Bin Bak, who was sentenced to five years in prison in 2021. He was a legal advisor and NGO worker focusing on coal issues. The activist's wife said the evidence used to convict him was fabricated. <laughs> quyền và lợi ích cho những người dân mà như vậy là nó động chạm đến quyền lợi của doanh nghiệp của chính quyền và họ muốn bịt miệng anh Max bịt miệng những cái nhà hoạt động như vậy bởi vì anh Max In January 2022, authorities detained another activist, Nguyễn Thi Khan. Khan founded one of Vietnam's most prominent environmental organizations. She also challenged the country's plan to increase the use of coal to fuel the economy. One expert said the government regards activists as a threat to national interests. And so what I think we're seeing is a concerted effort simply to cut off the public space and to declare that all matters of public concern are to be addressed by the party and its state alone and that there will be no toleration for dissident voices. Activism of this sort, you know, calling into question various kinds of practices regarding the environment can be seen as a threat to powerful economic interests. And as we know, you know, economic interests in Vietnam are always closely affiliated in some way with state power. In 2022, donors, including the U.S., pledged to help Vietnam switch to clean energy. They plan to raise 15.5 billion U.S. dollars in funding under the Just Energy Transition Partnership. U.S. President Joe Biden hailed the deal as part of Vietnam's ambitious clean energy future. But Washington says it is deeply concerned by the latest arrest and conviction. It urged Hanoi to honor international commitments, including consulting non-government stakeholders. <laughs>